if you thought text to image was cool, wait till you see text to videos. You can generate two to three second videos just by using simple text prompts. And these videos are temporally coherent. So here are a few examples that people have been playing around with. Uh, the best part is the model is open source and you can play with it in your own browser. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate these cute little videos yourself. Before showing you how to run these text to video models, I want to show you this Gen 2 models from Runway ML. They recently announced it. It hasn't been released, but it has very similar capabilities to text to videos. So for example, in this case, uh, you can provide a simple prompt of aerial drone footage of a mountain, and this model will be able to generate a video of a drone going through a range of mountains. So this is another example of text to video. It actually uh, synthesized the videos based on the style that you mentioned. Uh, then you can combine actually text uh, plus image to video. So for example, you can provide an input video, then a text prompt. So here's the text prompt. And based on this, this will be able to output a small uh, one to two second video. Here is an example of another capability. So you can provide simple uh, image and it can generate a video based on that input image. Here's another feature. So you can provide a video and then a driving image and it will uh, change the style of the video based on the driving video. But this is pretty cool because there are no uh, flickerings and anything. Uh, so it's really amazing. Now they have some other capabilities as well. For example, the storyboard. Uh, so you have a mock-up and it uh, converted to a fully stylized uh, animated render. So enough with the Runway ML Gen 2. Let's look at how you can generate videos from simple text prompt. So right now there are two ways of uh, using this text to video synthesis model for free if you don't want to run it on your computer using automatic 11. So one is using this Hugging Face Spaces. They have made it available uh, for people. And the second one is through Google Colab. So I'm going to show you both of them. I will be creating a video on how to run this in automatic 11.11. So if you're interested in that, uh, just keep an eye out for that video. Okay, so before uh, generating our own uh, uh, video, Let's look at a few examples. So for example, uh, they have provided this prompt, an astronaut riding a horse. So you can see that there is a horse, an astronaut, and uh, the horse is running around. So let's look at another example, a panda eating bamboo on a rock, right? So there's a rock, panda, and it seems to be eating uh, a bamboo, right? Uh, and Spider-Man is surfing. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. You see this one? Now these videos, um, if you watch them, they're temporarily coherent, right? But one thing you might notice is um, there is this um, shutter stock text on it. I'm going to show you how to actually remove this from the generated videos. Uh, the, the quality is not great, but keep in mind it's just the first iteration of the model. So just give it a month or two, and there is going to be a drastic improvement in terms of the quality. Now let's give it um, our own uh, text. So let's say a dancing skeleton. Okay. Uh, this is going to take some time. Uh, you, as you can see, something went wrong. The application is too busy. Keep trying. All right. So you can keep trying. And uh, a lot of people are currently using this. So expect that it's going to take a while. So now, uh, if you notice, I am 15th on the queue. It will generate the video once my number comes in. All right, if you want faster inference, you can actually pay for a GPU uh, on Hugging Spaces. And then you will have a dedicated GPU that you can use. But right now, uh, I think I'll have to wait a little bit for this to complete the processing. So it took a little while, but here is the video. If you run it, yeah, so there's a skeleton which is dancing. This is pretty cool. Okay, so it's one option. Uh, the second option is you can actually use Google Colab. All right, so here's the um, Google Colab that we're going to be using. I'm going to put a link in the description of the video. So first you want to make sure that uh, you actually come here and create a copy of this. So simply click on save a copy in the drive. It will create a copy of the um, Google Colab. Then you want to make sure that you are running it on a GPU. Right, so uh, change the runtime to GPU, and then uh, simply come here and click Connect. If you haven't used Google Colab before, uh, you can watch my videos uh, where I go in uh, details on how to use it. Next, you simply want to uh, 
come and click these play buttons. So this will execute uh, a cell, for example, this NVIDIA and, and SMI. So it simply sh it tells us that there is a, a Tesla T4 GPU that is being uh, used in this case, right? So I ran this cell and ran this cell. So it uh, downloaded uh, the repo and the model and installed all the required packages, right? And currently uh, I'm running this cell. So uh, if you see this test underscore uh, text, this is where your prompt is going to come in. So this is the only thing that you need to change. So let's say a cat surfing on the waves in the ocean. You can give it some other um, the prompt and then simply wait for it. It will take some time because um, it has to download a couple of models. So for example, this file is around uh, five gigabytes and then it is down currently downloading a four gigabytes uh, file. So that why that's why it takes some time. Uh, but it's better than uh, the hugging face because in that case you are in a, que a queue uh, waiting for your turn. But in this case, at least you have a dedicated uh, Google Colab uh, instance that is running your model. Once the execution of this cell is complete, we will simply run uh, the final cell where we will be able to download our video. So while we are waiting for this, and let's look at a couple of other examples. If you look at all these generated videos, you will notice that the, there is this Shutterstock um, logo on all of them. And it's probably because that uh, the videos that were used for training the model are uh, from this website. But there is an easy fix to uh, actually get rid of the, the, the logo. So let me show you how to do that. So for this purpose, we are going to be using this website called Any Eraser. Uh, all you have to do is uh, go and create an account right, and uh, log in using that account. Then he, uh, you need to upload your video. So come here, click upload. All right, so for example, I have uh, this video of a cat uh, running in a uh, playground. Okay, in order to remove this uh, logo, come to this uh, AI model, and then it will let you select uh, size of your brush. So for example, I, I will make the brush a little smaller and then carefully select the uh, logo or area you want to remove from your video, right? So for example, here we go. I will try my best not to select the cat. And okay, I think this should be good, right? Then simply click, click on uh, remove objects now and let it process. So the process is complete. Click on download. Okay, so here's the video. Uh, I think it did a pretty decent job. Uh, probably I missed uh, something a little bit here, but overall it did a pretty good job of removing um, the uh, logo. Now, one thing you need to be careful about it is uh, if you want to use this uh, uh, tool for multiple um, videos, then uh, you have to pay for it. But there is actually uh, a way around it as well. All you have to do is just erase your cookies and you will be able to upload another video and run it through that. So there you have it, a quick video on how to generate videos from simple text uh, prompts. These are really exciting times. Just give it a month or two and we will be able to generate much better quality images. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.